Alright, I also wanted to talk um, about um, two big women on the couch two weeks ago. We're talking about um, a woman named Monica who had a dilemma. And I, you know, wrote something about that. And I wanted to say something, but I have been super, super, super busy. So I'm going to do this video response. Um, and at, at the same time, I was um, listening to Straight Talk by... Um, Fat Girls Rules, and she was making some really good points. And I wanted just to talk about um, Monica's problem. Uh, it's Two Big Women on Couch. You could check out their YouTube channel. Was that she had a, a really good relationship with a guy, has, um, and it's good in every way. And you know, the problem is, is that he never, ever, ever wants to take her out. And now she's been to his apartment, he's been to hers, but he never wants to take her out. And then yesterday, Fat Girls Rules was talking about not being so picky when you're looking for a boyfriend, that, you know, you shouldn't be into looks, you should be into personality. And so, first of all, in, in um, Monica's situation, the guy just doesn't want to go out. He says he's really, really tired. I wanted to look at it from all standpoints. Um, I have seen this firsthand, personally where a woman who loved to go out married a man who just liked to sit home. Um, it didn't work out. Um, she eventually started going out without him. So, she, you know, this person started going out without her husband, met another man, and unfortunately left the good man for the bad man <laughs> that she met while she was going out, uh, drinking and whatever and at the bars. and. Uh, dancing so it didn't work out and and that 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 other relationship obviously did not have a happy ending he wound up the man um that she divorced wound up meeting a nice woman so he wound up what seemed happily ever after but the man that she went out with didn't treat her very good but um that's just what i've seen firsthand but um i just want to look at it from all angles first of all the man does not work on the weekends. Unless he does, I don't know. I doubt he works seven days a week. So there's no reason why they can't go out on the weekends. But I also want to say that I know that it's hard to find a good man. So what in Monica's situation, she could go out with her girlfriends and fulfill that aspect of her life if she likes to go out. Or um, live with not going out if she thinks that she can live with that. A good man is hard to find. So, um, you know, it could be, it could, may have to be a trade off. Or again, if he doesn't mind, she could go out with her girlfriends. Nobody is perfect. And um, <sighs> nobody's perfect. And, and it's, there's a balance in life for everything. And, um, if he truly, truly loves her, and it's truly, truly, he just doesn't like to go out, then, you know, it's a trade-off. If you, he's a good man, um, you know, um, then I say, go out with your girlfriends or stick with it because a good man is hard to find. But if something's going on and he just doesn't, because, I mean, part of it was, is he ashamed of her? Then I would say, then it's time to let go. Because the balance in life is, is that, you, you know, there'll be trade-offs, but we're not perfect, and that's number one. Nobody's perfect. You're not going to find the perfect guy because there are no perfect men and women in this world. Nobody's perfect. But the other aspect is neither do we settle for less than what we deserve. So, you know, again, if he's truly a good man, and the only problem is he doesn't like to go out then I would say stick with it. But if he's like ashamed of her because she's a big woman, then it's time to let go. And again, thinking about what Fat Girls Rule said yesterday just made me want to say this even more that, you know, ladies, nobody's perfect. We are not perfect. Men are not perfect. But, you know, sometimes in life there could be a compromise. And, and I'm not saying a 50-50 compromise. I'm saying each gives 100% to the relationship because that's the only way it's truly, truly going to work out. You each give 100% to the relationship. Um, you know, so he's a good man, stick with him. 
but don't settle for less than what you deserve, ladies, either. I, I, I've been there, ladies, and now that I'm older, <laughs> there's no logic in it. Uh, you know, there's no logic in it. I, I, like I said before, when I was married to my oldest daughter's father, I didn't want to be alone. I just couldn't stand this, the, the thought of being by myself. And, you know, I put up with all the abuse for four years, you know, I, and, and I deserve better than that, you know, and, you know, I, I four years later, I, I married um, my current husband and, you know, it was pretty difficult for the first two years. <laughs> um, it was a lot, a lot of work. But in the end, I feel that it paid off. I'm going on 21 years married now. So, you know, again, balance it out, ladies. Nobody's perfect, but don't settle for less than what you deserve. So the guy is not knocked down, dead, dropped dead gorgeous, but he's a good man. Good men are hard to find, you know? But at the same time, if the man's being abusive to you or just being selfish and doesn't care about your needs, you know, ladies, you don't deserve that. You deserve to be treated by, you know, like a queen by any man that you're with. And, and, and again, I don't want to set your expectations high. Nobody's perfect. But, um, but again, there isn't anything wrong with having high expectations, but let them be realistic ones. And just find the balance. You know, you, no one is perfect, but don't settle for less than what you deserve. So, you know. Just, just keep that in mind, ladies. That's all I wanted to say because I hate, I've been an abused woman and I hate to see women go through that and be abused because they're just afraid to be alone and settle for less. But at the same time, don't let happiness slip away because of some, you know, whatever. He's got a, a beauty mark in a place you don't like, you know. So anyway, I just wanted to add that for two big women on a couch. Uh, hopefully it'll be a video response to their thing and I'll put it up on the website.